The blistering heat is setting new records and many of you must be troubled by the heat and are planning your vacation getaways to the mountains. But along with the soaring temperature, inflation is also on the rise. Flight tickets, bus tickets, hotels, everything has become expensive. In such a situation, how can we plan for our holidays so that we don't bear the brunt of inflation? How can we fully enjoy our holidays that too at affordable cost? You must be having many such questions in your mind as well. So let us tell you 9 ways by which you can plan a cheap getaway and a budget friendly summer vacation. The first thing is booking flight tickets. Instead of booking directly from any booking site, use such a site which compares flight prices and shows you the cheapest flights. There are many such sites or search engines like Skyscanner, Momondo and Google Flights which compare prices on different flight booking sites for you and you can use these platforms to book cheapest tickets similarly when booking hotel rooms you should use hotel search engines like trivago.com fairprice.com tripadvisor and so on these platforms compare the rent of hotels available on hotel booking sites search engines like agoda booking.com make my trip will not only show the cheapest tariff for the same hotel it will also help you get the best deal for your trip become a good travel planner start planning your trip a little earlier on your own generally as the day approaches the fare of buses flights or hotel rent increases so by booking early you can save some money also avoid traveling on weekends whether it's flight or hotel rent everything becomes expensive over the weekends make full use of credit cards with the air miles you get from credit cards you can book flight tickets There are also offers on payment via credit cards on flight, bus or hotel booking sites. This way you can save more money. If you have a co-branded credit card, you can also get discounts by using it just like many big hotel chains, airlines and booking sites collaborate with banks to issue their own credit cards. You can also save money by using these cards because you will get many discounts, reward points and many other benefits on bookings with these cards. With these reward points, you can again get get additional discounts on your next booking as well if you are going with a group of friends or you are on a family trip instead of booking multiple rooms in a hotel you can use sites like airbnb to book the entire property this will reduce your expenses you can also cook your own food there this way there will be a significant cost cutting and you can enroll in a loyalty program of any hotel chain or booking site So these platforms will help you with discounts on rentals and you will also get other facilities. Additionally, you will earn reward points so that you can use in your next booking. If you are a solo traveler meaning you are planning to travel alone, you can stay in a backpackers hostel instead of a hotel. Currently, there are many backpackers hostels in most major tourist destinations in the country where the rent starts from 200 to 250 rupees per night. This way you can save a lot of money during your stay. If you are a solo traveler, you can also opt for carpooling for outstation travel. There are carpooling apps like BlaBlaCar, QuickRide and S-Ride where you can carpool for your travel destination. This way you can save on expensive flight or bus fares and travel comfortably. So pack your bags now and get ready for an affordable vacation. Now you too can ask any question related to personal finance on the Money Nine app. Do you have a query on stocks, mutual funds, or tax? Now you can directly ask our experts. Connect with them. anywhere anytime ask your questions in hindi english marathi bangla gujarati telugu and kannada only on money nine